everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel chess doctor here with yet another banger and in today's banger we are continuing the grind of the blitz chess guys uh, so uh, i have reached my new peak of i think 862 elo on my most recent chess stream on kick.com it was a very very wild we got a lot of w's and then on the last two games of the stream i i, lo I lost the two games so i'm back at 849 but still i feel like i'm advancing i'm trying like to you know have more fun while playing chess because usually i tilt a lot so uh, at that stream in particular, I decided to have like chess with no stress. It was so fun, it was so nice, and that's why we actually managed to get a peek. So uh, let's go and have more fun, guys, okay? Because I always try to find the correct, the perfect answer to every move. I can't do that, you know, because especially in Blitz, that takes just a lot of time. So we're gonna try and just like play, you know, a lot, a lot of intuitive moves, because you know when you see my videos, I have like a lot of intuitive good moves, okay? So we are starting to play the Catalan guys because I really, I, I reminded myself of it and honestly, I need to play something like that. I think I'll go here. Okay, that's not actually the best because I want to Fianchetto here, but that's, that's fine, you know? If he takes, we don't care. If he doesn't, I'll go queen to c2, I think, okay? But we have this, uh, okay, you know what, I'll go here and here. Okay, let's ask him a question here and here. Okay, now we trade it. I think I won't go for the Fianchetto anymore. Uh, I think I will just develop here because that kind of just seems a little bit faster. But we have F pawn on the board so we can maybe just push this up yeah let's push it because if it goes here I don't really like that okay I will take that and castle castle pin the pawn hmm okay let's do that we're pinning the pawn He's unpinning the pawn. We can go here. And we can take back the pawn. Because the pawn, this pawn is pinned, okay? That's wild, but we can do that. But then our pawn here will, you know, fall. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want it to fall. You know what? Honestly, let's take this. He can't take me, guys. He can't take me. Physically, he can't do it, okay? And then we can, like, take like this, maybe. That's why I actually decided to take here. By the way, this is called modern pin... Quiet pin defense. Okay, quiet. So we have to keep quiet while playing this game. God, okay. So I think taking this would be good. Even if he, like, moves the king, we can still take it, you know? I mean, if he moves him, like, here, we can't then. But then we can like come in here if he goes here or something like that. I see I kind of tricked them with this. They're thinking like, oh my god, you know? This is like a way too advanced for 800, I feel like. Okay, but he went here. So I think I can just go in here for the check. And he will do this. Okay. I can, I can go here. Yeah, I like to develop. Okay, he has even more defense. Hmm, okay, let's, let's then develop the horse. Hmm, okay. If I take here, he will just take. That's not very good. We can, like, attack the queen here. Yeah, we can do that. Or, sh no, let's go like this. Because, honestly, I should push up this pawn, okay? I don't know what's with my mouse. It's kind of... It's kind of slow. Okay. 
I think we're having a solid position, okay? Because my opponent's king is in, in here. Currently he has a lot of defense, but what happens next? That is what I'm wondering, okay? Okay, I'm thinking if I go here, I attack the queen. He has to move. Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's attack. Let's just get the horse in the game as well. Because I think that's like important, you know? And now we can go here, give a check, and discover his queen. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Easy. Is he gonna do this? Okay, now you're kind of dead, sir. He can't even take this or this. I completely screwed him, okay? I completely screwed him over. Oh my god, what a gameplay, guys. Okay. I'll go like here. Okay, he's not allowing me to do that, so... Let's try and go like this. Okay, that's it. That's it! Oh, easy. I think this was, oh, this was a very good game. Okay, I have to clap for myself in this one. What happened here, guys? Hello? I wanted to play the, the, um, the Catalan opening. I didn't feel Keto at the end, but I think that was a good call here, okay? We gotta game review the games, guys. We gotta game review. So we're back at the 857 ELO. So I'm noticing like the more I play, like uh, the more my average is, because ELO is like a thing that goes up and down constantly, of course, it is what it is. But like my average before would be like, I don't know, 750. Now it's around, I stay around 808 to 829 mostly, but now it's getting even more, okay? So 81% accuracy for your chest, doctor. Okay, you can't see that, so I'm going to remove myself from the video to show you. Where is that? Where is that? Okay, so you can see it here. Uh, we have 81.2% accuracy, two great moves, and the ELO estimate is 1400 for your chest, doctor. Okay, the opponent played at the 500 level. So I think we really outsmarted him here. Just like we outsmarted the opponent based on the things that are pretty normal, like pins and things. I pinned him a lot. I pinned him on 700 sides. And I think I think that was a good thing because people in this rating... Okay, I should have gone there. I knew it, but I wanted to play like this. Because I thought he gonna castle. And we're gonna get in here. But he didn't. His king stayed in the center. Uh, but yeah, I think 800s don't really understand how pins work. And I pinned him a lot, okay? So here we asked him, he moved, and we just took the pawn. We take no chances. We castle up here and go with this. We should have immediately taken, uh, but uh, they say, be careful, this loses a pawn. I don't care. I pin his pawn, and after I trade, he takes, and we take this, which was... I think this is uh, uh, like very hard to see for people in 800 deal. So that's why I'm proud of myself. But they say I should have went queen to uh, queen to f6 instead of queen to f7. Oh, because I could have tactically won the rook. So let's see. Show the moves. Show the moves. Okay, that's how I win the rook. Okay. Okay. Instead I went here because the check just looked very saucy. Uh, the best move should have been just develop the horse. I kind of did that later. I, I did it here. But it's still the best move. And they see, my intuition was right in this one. I should have just immediately attacked the queen. But I do want to sit here and contemplate. Because he's up up 20 seconds, right? 
So I just wanted to, you know, place the rooks, like move every single piece first, develop, and then we're gonna attack the queen, which was a great move. And after this, this was great because if he takes and we trade, that's over for you, man. That's over. Because we got a queen, we got this, we came in, uh, we took this, and then here I was just like, okay, I'm gonna mate you. There is no way you're gonna win this game and... Guys, we did it. Okay. Very nice. Very easy. Let's play more. Let's play more. Okay, so now we have a game with the black pieces. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, let's... A uh, Reti. Reti opening. Reti Kappa Capetti. Reti Kappa Capetti. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. But let's try and develop... And castle here and I think that's just what they have to do because that's what I learned on that stream that I told you about I was just like my gameplay wasn't anything too extra my gameplay was just develop castle chill and that's it and honestly I enjoyed it okay okay I'm gonna go here he wants to take okay sure sir is he gonna give it? <laughs> you never know, so that's why we that's why we do do it like this. Uh okay. I can I can't take that. Oh okay, that was a mouse slip, but it's a fine move, nobody cares, you know. I wanted to pin him. But uh it is what it is. Uh let's I'm not sure if I want to take that. Okay, I don't want to take that. Maybe I should have. Oh, this is... Okay, it's actually fine because I have two of the defenders. Okay. I thought I made a mistake. I thought I was just gifting a pawn for free. Okay, sir. I would love to trade this horse. I would love, 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 love to do that. Okay, I think... Oh my god, we can't go there. Okay, you know what? I think I'll stay here. And go like this. I think I should have actually went completely back, but that wasn't possible, right? Okay, let's go, let's go here. I want to give this check. Because I think that is powerful, you know. You know, no. Now, I will jump here. Because this seems good. You know. Just let's see if you're gonna see. Okay, he doesn't see it. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's... That's a... Oh, that's a checkmate? I wasn't even aware. Oh, sir. They're calling me for a rematch. Oh, no. I am not accepting a rematch. No, no, no. I beat you once. I can beat you 100 times, but I just don't feel like doing it. I really thought, like, oh, just, uh, just fork the king and the queen. That was already brutal enough. Uh, but then... <laughs> This is, this is mate, because he can't go here, he can't take this, and he can't go here, that's Gigi. Oh my god, this was more Gigi than Gigi Hadid herself, hello. Guys, I'm so confused, how am I beating them, see? It's all about the mindset, because when I was in the mindset, oh, I'm losing the games, this and that, blah, blah, I would lose the games. Now I'm in the mindset, I don't care. So, here we have the, I'm gonna show you again. I'm gonna show, okay, the church is banging. That's my village church. Banging every day, multiple times a day. So you got, you're gonna enjoy the sounds now if you hear it. But 66.8% accuracy with three great moves. I didn't have a singular blunder, which is very good. They're estimating me 700 and 350 for the opponent is so sad. So no wonder they're estimating me 700 when my opponent played on a 350 level, you know? 
So I think that these like estimations and things in chess, uh, they're like very fun, but um, they don't necessarily tell you the truth because I crushed this person like I don't know maybe at fifteen hundred would crush, but since they played all of the worst moves, they are saying like because they played bad, I automatically can't play for a three thousand just because my opponent played for a 300 so it's obvious i i guess i don't know how how does this evaluation work but okay he could he should have actually taken my pawn that's what they're saying i thought that if they take it's not good for them but okay here i i should have taken this pawn oh yeah that pawn was free i missed that and they wanted me to take here why because if i if I take, he can just, what, take? Oh my god, the lag! Oh my god, what? Okay, guys, the whole computer lagged here. Hello? The whole chess.com just froze. Okay, wait, wait. Maybe, I don't know what happened, guys. The whole game review just froze. Because I tried to... Oh my god. Let's refresh this. Let's try to restart the game review. Exit the page, okay? They don't want me to game review that game, guys. By the way, we're back at the... Oh my god, the whole Chrome froze. It is what it is, guys. My laptop is so bad, okay? So that's probably the reason why, but... I want to see what my three great moves were, so I'm going to try and game review this once again. Damn, that really froze, like, for no reason. They don't want us to see how great I played, okay. I think it's because I wanted to show another line and then the whole thing just lagged, so we're not going to do that again. Okay, so we had this Reti Kappa Capetti opening, and I like this, you know, honestly. This Reti opening, they got nothing on me, okay? Reti Kappa Capetti, I'm telling you. See, I just, I'm gonna play this now all the time against this, okay? I was very solid, I did make mistakes, but he made blunders, man. He made blunders. Okay, so here I got a pawn and traded this perfect horse. Then what my whole idea in this game was to trade this horse, guys. And I did it. I should have gone queen to d6. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is a miss. Okay, whatever. Oh, I should have just jumped with a horse and threatened me then with the queen here, you know, because the bishop would be here, we jump, and we threaten mate on h2. Well, that would, that would be much better, but here we have another great move. And now this is a mistake, okay. Okay, you overlooked the opportunity to move bishop to safety. What do you think? Oh, they're gonna take, and then when I take, they take. I don't really care about that. I mean, they're gonna get their pawn back, but I'm plus two pawns, so I'm still gonna be up a pawn. And positionally, I just think I developed better. So here, I was... They were blind. Even I didn't realize that's gonna be a mate. And I'm the one who played this move, okay? So of course they ain't gonna realize, but I thought they're gonna at least see it's a pin, it's a, it's like a threat to the queen, but bro, no, bro, no, okay? No, 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 no. So we guys today played two games, one with white and one with black, and we won both of them. So which pieces are easier to play uh, in, in this case? Both of them are equally good. I can't believe this, honestly, because I usually have a harder time playing with black pieces uh, than with white. Uh, but this game was as equally as brilliant as the first one. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm proud of myself. This is a new checkmate pattern that I have just discovered, honestly. What is this called, guys? If you know, let me know in the comments down below, because I really don't know what even is the name of this mate, if there is any. I never saw this in my life. I'm just sitting here looking at this. It's a great move and it should be because it's it's truly great. Like I'm stunned. I am stunned by this mate. I never saw something like this happen. 
maybe even to other people as well. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I this is like a completely new position for me. I I can't believe I did it, but like I'm glad I unlocked this new level as well, guys. So what do you think? What do we think about these games? Did I crush the Reti Kappa Capetti opening? I think I did. I think there should be a Reti opening Kappa Capetti variation because I proved it now. Okay, so a vote in the comments. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know, do a petition to chess.com to name this Reti Kappa Capetti opening. I think that would be very fun. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun with these two games and honestly I can see the improvement and I'm very happy about that part and I'm very grateful to everybody in the comments with the supporting and everything. Thank you guys so much. You all are explaining me things, you all are telling me how to play better and telling me it's okay when I lose. So thank you guys uh, for your wonderful support. And I hope you're gonna have amazing games like this for yourself as well. If you wanna check me live anytime, I'm on kick.com slash capetti Monday, Tuesday, uh, Friday and Saturday. That's when I'm live. You can check out my schedule posted in the Discord, in the community posts on YouTube and in the uh, About Me section on kick.com. Kick.com is here kick.com slash okay? So if you didn't follow, go follow. And if you didn't subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for, guys? I'm missing five more people until 1,400 subs, which is just insane. Thank you for that, by the way, as well. That's like insanity. So if you wanna, if you wanna get us closer to our goal, I think the goal currently is like, hit those five people, okay? Get 1,400, right? So we need five more people, guys. Go sub to the channel and uh, let's celebrate, okay? Join the Discord, if you wanna donate, you can go to buymeacoffee.com uh, slash capacapetti again, or you can, uh, you can join the membership of the channel as a support, or you can just visit the kick.com and gift subs there. So whatever you want, if you wanna support like that, that would be very much appreciated. So guys, that is it from your chest doctor for this uh, Wednesday video that is scheduled. Uh, thank you so much for watching once again. I wish you'll have the most amazing time and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Until then, stay happy, stay healthy and play good chess, okay? Uh, so that's it guys and see you later alligators. Bye!